This is John Holloman at CNN Center in Atlanta. Right now at Cape Canaveral, Space Shuttle Discovery is on the pad, about to be launched. CNN's Tony Clark is there. Tony, what can you tell us about this last-minute delay and what's happening right now? John, it was a communications problem between the shuttle and mission control in Houston. Managers took a look at it and decided that they uh, have communications and that it's not going to be a problem. Right now, we're about a minute 20 seconds from the launch. The five astronauts are on board the shuttle. They boarded it a little bit earlier today. The countdown, except for this last minute glitch, has gone uh, very smoothly. The uh, tanking was early. The astronauts got into the shuttle without a hitch to begin their five-day, seven-hour mission. The uh, minus one minute. This is the this is the thirteenth launch of the uh, the shuttle Discovery. It is the uh, the longest. It has been the most used of the shuttle. We're about fifty seconds away. Let's listen in to launch control. Ten seconds to burn off any residual hydrogen gas under the main engine nozzles. T minus. 40 seconds, sound suppression water system is armed, and off to the orbiter coming up, 34, 33, 32, 31. Discovery's computer is now controlling. Booster hydraulic units have now been started, and the final steering check of the engine nozzles of the SRBs is underway. Sound suppression water system has started. T minus 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, go for main engine start, the main engines up and burning, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery and the Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite, with a new era studying the Earth's environment from space. Roger, roll, Discovery. Mission Control Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery. Roll program complete. Discovery now in a heads down position on course for a 57 degree inclination. Discovery's engines now throttling down as the vehicle prepares to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Three engines now at 67%. Discovery's altitude is now 18,000 feet, downrange from Kennedy one nautical mile. One minute, 10 seconds. Discovery is now at altitude of 45,000 feet. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. All three engines aboard Discovery now back up at 104% of operating uh, pressure. Three good hydraulic systems aboard the vehicle and three good electrical fuel cells. Downrange distance, 10 nautical miles. Tom check on uniform only. Discovery's altitude 121,000 feet. Downrange from Kennedy Discovery now 19 Houston, nautical Houston, miles. Simo. Uh, I got you loud and clear. Houston, how do you read us? Roger, read you the same. Solid rocket booster separation from Discovery. Time now, two minutes. Beautiful and launch uh, for the shuttle Discovery. Uh, getting off just a, a little bit later than planned, but they had uh, almost a three hour window against this evening sky here at the Kennedy Space Center. It makes a, a beautiful sight the rest of the evening. The uh, astronauts will go through, get their payload, uh, their satellite, upper atmosphere research satellite checked out, then go to bed and then uh, get ready for a five-day, seven-hour mission. Scheduled landing is on Saturday. It's an early morning, 1.55 or so in the morning landing. First nighttime landing here at the Kennedy Space Center. And, of course, we'll be covering the mission throughout and bring you that landing. I'm Tony Clark, CNN, reporting live from the Kennedy Space Center. John? Tony, thanks very much. Of course, CNN will keep you posted throughout this mission. Right now, though, it's back to Moneyline with Lou Dobbs.